All right, so in today's video, we're going to be looking over an updated list of all of the voice commands that you can actually activate on your steering wheel in your Tesla. Now, this actually differs a little bit from the video I released a couple days ago about the updated Grok AI functionality in your Tesla, which for now, at least at the time of filming this video in October 25, we cannot actually use Grok to control certain things in the vehicle, like turning lights on and off, things like that. It's really just a conversational style feature at least for now so yeah in today's video we're going to be looking over about 30 different tesla voice commands so you have a full list that you can try in your own vehicle let's get into it all right, so you're probably already aware of this, but in order to activate the voice commands, you click on this button right here. It differs a little bit from a trim and a vehicle type. However, in the Model 3 and Y, it is right here on the steering wheel. You click it once to activate voice commands just like that. And then by the way, if you wanted to activate Grok, you long press this button that activates Grok. So in this video though, we are going to be focusing on the voice commands clicking here one single time. Let's get into it. All right, so category number one here has to do with commands about physical attributes to the car and not software based. So things such as opening the trunk, the charge port, locking the doors and so forth. Let's start with some of those right now. Open charge port. So as we can see here in real time, it did indeed open the charge port. We can do the same thing by closing it. Now that is something that you should note about basically all of these features. You can both turn them on and off. So the opposite command will also work. A funny thing, Easter egg for the charge port as well. You can say open butthole or close butthole and it will do the same thing. Let's do that now. Close butthole. And right there, we can see that it closed the charge port. Now, there are also other things that we can do. For example, the trunk. Open trunk. There we go. It opened the trunk. And like I said, we can do the opposite as well. Close trunk. There we go. It closed the trunk as well. Now, from here, we can also say lock and unlock the doors. Lock all doors. There we go. It did indeed lock all of the doors. And again, we can do the opposite if we want to unlock all the doors. Unlock the doors. Boom. And just like that, we unlock the doors. Let's move into the next one naturally. Open frunk. And there we go. It did indeed open the frunk. Obviously, it didn't open it that much. It just unlatched it, but it did indeed open it. Unfortunately, we cannot close the frunk because that is a manual close that you have to press in on the hood. Next up, we can say bring up the cameras that are around the vehicle. Open cameras. And right here, we can see the rear camera as well as the two side cameras. Close cameras. Just like that really practical while you're driving especially if you want to open certain things speaking of opening things open glove box in this case i do have a pin here however that would open it up automatically and it did open up the pin reception box right there otherwise we can also fold and unfold the car mirrors so for example right here fold mirrors And we can see that it did just fold the mirrors. You can't see it off screen, but I can see that the, the mirrors did actually fold in. Unfold mirrors. Okay, so that pretty much covers category number one being those physical controls. There are a couple more, but we're going to add them in other categories. Next up, it can also control everything that has to do with the HVAC. So right now, HVAC is off because it would make a lot of noise and it would muddy the audio of this video. However, we can turn it on and off as well as all the other features. Let's look at that now. Turn on AC. So in this case, it did indeed turn everything on and it turned the AC on. Next up, let's turn off recirculate, which it's currently on. Turn off recirculate. It did indeed just turn off recirculate. From here, the fan is a little bit too high for my liking. So let's bring it down to say two. Set fan speed to two. 
And there we go, it did automatically put that down to two. Or we can ask something such as the following. Set the fan speed to maximum. And it just set it to 10. I will turn that down immediately because it's going to be way too loud for the current video. Now other things, for example, let's say it's the middle of winter and your windshield is all iced over. We could ask it something such as the following. Heat windshield. And in this case, the front defroster was enabled. So we can see it enabled this right here and it is on maximum and hot. So it's going to defrost the windshield. Let's turn that off and you kind of get the point. You can pretty much control all of these things right here, including the rear as well. You can also control it. Um, some of these things from the voice commands. Now, other things that you can do, for example, are the hearing, the uh, steering wheel heat, as well as uh, your seat heat and seat ventilation. So let's start with that, for example. You can either ask it directly to turn it on or say something like this. My hands are cold. So in this case, it turned on the steering wheel heat to auto, which is on setting two, which is the maximum setting. But we can also say, turn off steering wheel heat. Boom, it turned it off as such. Next up, my ass is cold. And it turned on the seat heat for the driver's seat to maximum. Turn down my seat heat. In that case, it brought it down by one and we could do that again. Turn down my seat heat. And boom, in that case, it brought it down to one. So very practical as well. Let's say you wanted to turn on the seat heat for your passenger. Well, hey, we can also do that. Turn on my passenger's seat heat. And it just set it to auto in fact, but because it's actually quite warm out here, it did not um, actually turn it on, but it's because it put it on automatic and right now it is not uh, very cold, so it didn't actually turn it on. Otherwise, we can also turn on these settings, dog, camp, and keep mode. Turn on dog mode. Dog mode enabled, all right. Turn on camp mode. So again, we get the point. Basically, everything with the HVAC can be controlled from voice commands. We will turn this off to reduce the noise. Now from here, a couple other fun ones. For example, we can turn on and off the dome light. So right now they are off and they are on screen, uh, off screen, but we'll be able to see it anyways. Turn on dome lights. There we go, we can see that the dome lights did in fact turn on. I'm not sure if you can capture it on screen, but they did turn on. Turn off dome lights. And right there, they did indeed turn off. So that is a practical one as well. Now, unfortunately, a couple other settings that I wish could be controlled uh, that are related to the lights, like the footwell lights, the door card lights, as well as the footwell uh, or puddle lights, I should say, and even the ambient lighting, they cannot be controlled by the voice commands for some reason. I've tried every single command and they just simply don't work. So that's kind of an unfortunate reality, but um, maybe over time they will integrate that, especially if they end up uh, combining Grok with the voice commands. I could see that becoming reality at some point. A couple other quick ones here. For example, you can ask it, what is my tire pressure? And in this case, it brought up our tire pressure, which right now is a little bit low on all of them. Since it's supposed to be 42, it's getting a bit colder here in Canada and I haven't driven yet though. That is the reason why. You can also ask it everything like, show me my odometer, show me the current drive and all that, and it will work. Now from here, we can also jump into navigation demands. So things such as drive me here, drive me there, bring me to work, show me the nearest superchargers, things like that. So let's take a look at that right now. Navigate to Manhattan. So in this case, searches for your destination and is going to, of course, add superchargers along the way for the perfect route. I kind of wish I was going to Manhattan right now, but uh, maybe another time. Show me the weather. 
From here, we can also ask it to turn on and off things such as the window lock, child locks, as well as the front lights. Let's look at that now. Turn off headlights. In that case, boom, it just turned off the headlights that were up front there. Turn on window lock. Basically everything, right? Turn on car wash mode. Car wash mode, blah, blah, blah. Enter car wash mode. By the way, if you've never used this, do it every single time that you do a car wash. It is very useful to not open up your charge port and get tons of water in there. We're not going to do that now, though. Turn on century mode. Turn off century mode. Turn on windshield wipers. So it brings this up right here. And then from here, we can control which speed of windshield wiper we want. I actually like this feature. I will ask the car to just turn it on while I'm driving. I just find it's better to not take my eyes off the road. Change acceleration mode to standard. Change steering to light. There we go. So once again, we can control all of these as well. Lock the rear display. Unlock the rear display. Speaking of media though, we can open up things such as Netflix, YouTube, Twitch, and also ask it to start playing a certain song if you are connected with your Spotify. I am not, however, if you were, this is what that would look like. Turn on Drake on Spotify. So in this case, I'm not logged into Spotify. However, it would go into Drake's uh, profile, his media, and start playing that um, as such. Open YouTube. So in this case, it opens up YouTube right here. We're going to leave from there. However, you can open up all of the different apps that are in the theater mode being YouTube, Netflix, Twitch, and tutorials. Open Arcade. So as you can see with that command, you can pretty much ask it to open up any of the apps that are in the interface here. So if you don't want to click on here and then search for it while you're driving, you can ask it to open up pretty much any of these. For example, let's say we wanted to open up the manual, you can ask it to do that. Open manual. For example, it just opened up the manual for my Model 3, and it works for basically all of these, like I just said. Open calendar. It opens up the calendar. Open browser. So yeah, that pretty much covers most of all of the voice commands that you can use on your Tesla. Like I said, if you think you can use it, probably is the case. Definitely give it a try. Everything that you can control directly from the screen can pretty much work with voice commands as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. By the way, uh, YouTube just launched this new feature called YouTube Courses. So I actually made a quick course that's about couple hours long with 24 different modules that is totally free for you to watch i'm going to leave a link down below in this video's description it is on my youtube channel but uh, the videos themselves are unlisted because they're like all three four minutes long so if you're new to tesla ownership and you want to know everything you need to know about owning a tesla what the benefits are and how to use your vehicle correctly i'd highly recommend that you check out that youtube course link down below in this video's description and pinned comment or if you want to buy some Tesla accessories, check out my Amazon storefront. There's some great accessories there for you to check out. So thanks a lot for watching. Make sure to subscribe. I post every single week. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one.